Hello YouTube, Steelhead Fisherman, fly tying enthusiast. Uh, making a fly today, it's called the Maggots on a Stick. Um, something I made uh, five, six years ago, and I've been using it ever since, and it's by far the best fly I've ever made. And it's definitely the most productive. It's something I won't go steelhead fishing without anymore. What I'm using is a Mustad hook, size 10, and glow yarn. It's egg color, because that's the best color i found to match the color of a real maggot. What I do is I'll pull out about an inch or so, cut it off, and pull it in half. So you have two pieces. So each piece you cut off in your package, an inch long or so, will give you two maggots. Just pull it apart, two strands, make two maggots. Next I'll grab my clamp. This isn't the best clamp because it's a fat... A flat clamp. If I had a round clamp, it would be better. Because when it squishes down, it tends to, to flatten that out, and that's not good. So you want to keep that together. Because you want your head and your body to be round, not flat. So what I'll do a butane lighter. Because you need to melt this end down in a normal lighter likes to burn it slower and it doesn't work as good. Um, I use glow bug yarn because other materials um, create an ash. They just burn and go poof. You're not left with any head on the maggot. They need a glow bug yarn and a butane lighter. You just melt that head down. See how that melts it? Makes a nice black head on there. I turn this flat clamp to get it round. Keep it round. Keep it round. If you got a round holder, that would work great, but I haven't been able to find one. So then you want to roast your um, sides of this material because it likes to fall apart in the water. Becomes a big glob of glow yarn. Doesn't look very realistic. So you want to roast it just like a marshmallow. You, know, you light the lighter and throw heat at it, you'll see it shrink. So you want to be careful here. You don't want to overdo it. See that? Get it on all sides. And that, that prevents it from falling apart in the water. Okay? And that gives it a consistency where it's a little tough on the outside, but it's very soft still on the inside, just like a real, just like a real maggot. And then what I like to do for a final step, be very careful. On one side, you just toast, roast it a little bit more. And that will actually produce the legs, like on the bottom of a maggot that has like little brown legs. And you just roast it a little bit more. If you can see that or not very in very much detail, but from where I'm sitting, that looks just about perfect. <laughs> it's amazing how much this looks and feels like a real maggot. So that was just one. Um, I like to put three on a hook, and I have several here made up already. So I'll just go ahead and tie this. So I got six odd white thread. Must add size 10 hook for steelhead. It's a real good hook. And wrap that white thread around there. I used to use brown. That's where I got the name Maggots on a Stick because it was just looked like three maggots on a brown stick. And I still use brown once in a while. I like white too. I'm using white this time. Um, just grab one and wrap it on there. I like to go around it so it doesn't lay down prefer it to, to stand up. You want to make these as accurately as possible or to whatever you're liking to a real maggot. This looks a, uh, like it's huge but it's really not. Um, there's a lighter in comparison to the size. And I'll turn that and I'll tie another fake maggot on the hook. I like having maggots going in different directions on the hook. That way, no matter which way a fish sees that hook coming through the water, he's going to see a maggot. He's not going to see the hook. I'll tie that on there real good. Get something 
Oh, I got a crunchy spot. Oh well. And then a whip finish. Hold that all on there. And it's done. That's how fast and easy it is. Glow bug yarn, about three bucks a bag. Must add hooks are six bucks for fifty or so. And then that's the uh, that's the the fly. And as you can see that coming through the water, you know, that's it's looking like a bunch of maggots coming through there. It's uh the best fly I've ever tied. By far the most productive. I don't go steelhead fishing without them anymore. I have several made up here. And you got you can tinker around with it and get the uh, you know, better at it and worse at it. You know, practice makes perfect, but when you're at it and you do it for a while, I mean it doesn't have to be perfect every time. These you know, they're just maggots, fish nail them. Still had love this fly. Uh, it's not produced any fly I've ever tied before. And, and uh, here's one that's got some brown. I use brown on this one. You can see the, it looks like a stick cut on me there. But yeah, it's amazing, this glow bug yarn. Uh, I haven't found anything else that would uh, melt quite like this. Um, you need a material that melts really well. So that's about it. I uh, hope it improves your season. And I hope you catch a lot of fish this year. Add this fly to your box, and uh, good luck.